Hi, how you doing? I'll tell you trees are beautiful uh, for your compound, uh, for your house, because they give you shade that you needed and they help you in filtering the air that comes into your compound. So I support you having trees. But when you have a tree that is so close to your foundation, it's just very, very scary. And not just any tree. If you're talking about uh, you having a uh, a tree that is that has a tap root, is a big situation. So you need to consult the experts when you are uh, working on your house, starting the setting out of your house, trying to do the layout of your site of your house. is very important because this tree, this is very close to this foundation. This is about one meter to the house. This is so close and very dangerous. You don't need it because this is what will cause your foundation to be having cracks. If you are talking about palm trees, palm trees have fibrous roots. So those ones I can understand because they are trees go down straight and they don't extend out. Whereby a big tree like this have I uh, have a lot of uh, uh, roots that are tap roots that extends out meters upon meters down in your foundation, breaking through your foundation. So that is something a big concern that you need to you need to think about. So that is one thing you have to be very, very, uh, uh, very, very sure about when you are building your house, when you are, they are doing the set out, when you call in the engineer to do the set out of your house, you need to do all this and you make sure you invite an expert also to do the feasibility of your land even before you even started. So you don't have to uh, pay for things that you don't need to involve yourself in. So you have to be very, very, very careful when all these things are being done. So you make sure that everything is done the way it's supposed to be. So you have to watch out for this. You can see the tree and you can see the branches even coming over the house. So where is it going to be? Where is going to be the roof? I don't know. <laughs> so you got to be thinking uh, how you have to cut this uh, when you're ready to place the roof or you have to be very careful uh, when it's raining or when you have a bad weather. Uh, so you cannot sleep in your house with closing of your two eyes. You have to close one eye and open the other because this is really, really dangerous. So you got to watch out for all these things. This might seem little, but this information is all you need. All you need with this information are these uh, small, small things you need to watch out for. It will help you out so you don't make any mistake uh, just paying a contractor and just situating your house. You got to be very, very careful about this. All right, families, enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye.